This video is a quick walkthrough of the Wattwatch's auditor device commissioning process called onboarding. You can onboard an auditor using any smart device by going to wattwatches.app. After the auditor has been installed and powered up, we need to make sure that it has successfully established an internet connection. It has successfully connected when all three lights have become solid. Once you have gone to wattwatches.app, you will need to log in using the username and password provided by your fleet manager. Contact your fleet manager or Wattwatches support if you do not have these details. After logging in, enter in the serial number of the auditor. Once onboarding has found the device, you will notice three tabs in the onboarding app, Start, Channels and Energy. You will need to use each tab to complete onboarding. Please note that additional tabs will appear for devices that have additional features, such as Modbus or switching. Refer to the detailed user guide in the description for more information. In the start section, begin by entering in the name of the device. This can be anything to uniquely identify the device. Next, enter the time zone of where the device is installed. This should be auto detected based on your mobile's location. Then select the type of antenna installed. Once that is done, you will notice some information about the device below that includes signal quality. Please take note of this so you can decide whether or not to use an external or high gain antenna. Once you have finished each step, you must always click on the save changes button at the top or bottom of the page. The next tab is channels. In channels, it will ask you for the install type. Select the install type based on the grid supply at the property, either single phase, two phase or three phase. Use the single phase option for sites with a single phase grid connection. Use the three phase option for sites with a three phase grid and three phase solar or three phase grid and three phase load. Use the mix phase option for sites with two or three phase grid and single phase loads. Please contact Wattwatch's support to complete the commissioning when mix phase is selected in onboarding. For each channel or group, you need to set the following. Category is used to define the type of load being monitored, such as grid, solar, or air conditioning. Select the most appropriate type for your installation. CT rating is the amperage rating of the CT you installed. You will notice you can edit the label field in the channels. By default, this will be labeled the same as the category, but can be changed to make it easier to uniquely identify each circuit, such as upstairs lights or garage power. Please ensure that the channels in onboarding match the channels on the auditor and you have familiarized yourself with the wiring diagrams we have provided in the description link. The next tab is energy. The energy tab is where you'll check your readings to make sure they are correct. You will notice three important values, voltage, amperage, and power factor. Power factor is a really important and useful measurement that can help identify if the CT clamps have been correctly installed and are placed on the correct phase. For single phase installations, power factor can only tell you if the CT clamps are reading positive or negative current flow. For grid circuits, a positive power factor should always be present when there is no on-site generation causing export power. So make sure you turn off all solo and battery systems when testing grid circuits. To obtain accurate power factor readings, there must be at least one amp or more of load on each channel. So try to turn on a load for that circuit to ensure correct readings. If you are using CTs that are rated higher than the standard 60 amps, there must be higher amperage applied to compensate. When sufficient load is drawn through a circuit, the power factor should be between 0.8 and 1. Power factors between 0.1 and 0.6 are usually considered poor and either indicate that you do not have enough power on that circuit or you have installed the CT on the wrong phase. Negative power factor values indicate that the current is flowing in the opposite direction and can indicate the CT arrow pointing the wrong way or the CT is on the incorrect phase. If you encounter a mix of low and negative power factor readings, it's a strong indication of incorrect CT placement. So please check every cable and CT as per the wiring diagrams. To verify the accuracy of the CT readings, a comparison test should be performed using a multimeter with a clamp function. This will ensure that the readings from the auditor and the clamp meter match within a reasonable tolerance. 
Also, this will confirm that the correct circuit has been clamped and that the clamp is securely fitted. After using onboarding, the device information will be automatically updated in the fleet manager's account and ready for viewing. If you are installing for a residential property, homeowners can view their energy on our My Energy app by downloading it on their smart device. From there, they can self-register themselves directly in the app within 30 days of the WattWatchers device being installed. All they need is the device ID number, so please make sure it is noted and provided to the homeowner. See description for where to download the app. For more detailed information regarding onboarding, please see the link in the description. For all support requests, you can lodge a support request ticket. See description for link.